Hey my friends, it's Josie and welcome to my studio. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I want to talk about angels and answer one of the most common questions that I receive and it's how angels look like. How do they look like? Do they look like they're these beings of light with the wings? Maybe they're just energy, maybe they have some sort of sensations or like a feather, maybe it's a star, maybe it's um, a butterfly, anything, any sign that reminds you about angels is the way they communicate with you. So let's remember that angels are not physical beings. They don't have physical bodies like you and I, so they don't walk the earth, they don't interact with people the same way that we do and our relationship with angels depends on how we perceive them so if you grew up with like i did with catholic ideas about angels i used to look at all of the you know windows and paintings on windows of archangel michael with the sword and i still have these ideas and oftentimes, angels show up to me, reminding me about something by the images that I remember from my childhood. I may be scrolling through social media and I find a picture. And I remember this picture from my childhood. I know that angels are trying to get my attention. So by just being more present, more mindful, you recognize that angels show up to you and meet you where you are. They're not going to impose on you a different image. They're not going to confuse you. There's no need for that. You're only here for a hundred years. Let's work with you. Let's help you where you are. So that's the beauty of communication of angels and human beings. They're not forcing you to like them in a certain way. So now you may have your own absolute crazy idea about angels and they are okay with it now what we know say from new testament and old testament and also appearances of angels to muhammad to abraham angels when they show up they can take human form we know this i have seen angels appearing and, and disappearing i don't think they are physical beings i think it's just an image that they produce a few minutes just to deliver a message because angels are messengers that's the word angel that's what it means to be the messenger so they deliver a message whether it's to Abraham or to Muhammad maybe to Mary it is what it is goodbye so they're not staying they're not communicating they're not sitting down to eat they're not sleeping over so they can only sustain a certain physical appearance for a very brief period of time. So sometimes they do show up as people, but only when it's absolutely necessary. In most cases, angels appear to people as just energy. I feel my angels. I don't see them, sometimes I do, but most of the time I'm tuning in to their energy and they feel a certain way. It took me years, literally years of daily interactions with angels and feeling them and talking to them and reading about them and then doing deep meditations in nature, on the tops of the mountains, in the deserts, wherever I was, I wanted to feel them. So I know how it feels to communicate with angels and you may have your own way. You may be in the same space with me and I will feel my angels a certain way and you will feel yours at a very different level. There is no right, no wrong when it comes to communication with angels. It's about are you feeling good? Now is this communication is helping you to be a better human being? That's the only question you should be asking. Now when you communicate with angels telepathically, they can help you, they can support you, they can give you guidance, they can give you information, but they are not going to solve your problems for you. They are not going to stand in the way of danger and then protect you. If you are heading towards danger, they will give you many, many signs like stop, don't do this, 
wrong way, but essentially if you decide to go that way till the end, they can't stop you. So understand that listening, asking for guidance and listening to angels, that's how it really works. They're not there to physically stand in the way or give you just clear instructions on how to live your life. They're just there to give you in the moment the guidance that is coming through that is serving you. That's it. So whatever angels are doing to help you, to guide you, to protect you, they're not emotional, they don't have the same feelings as we do as human beings relating to one another. That's why it's easier for them to deal with us. They're not emotionally attached to us or to anything else. They live in a very different dimension. They can create magic, they can give you, they can put a feather or a dime in certain situations and places just to sparkle your spirit, to make you smile, to make you feel good. But if you decide to work with angels, they can deepen your perspective of the world. And of course, remember, we live in the world of duality. There are light angels and there are dark angels. And light and dark, that's just our perceptions. That's it. Light and dark. Day and night. This is the reality. And the difference between, say, light and dark is how your interactions with angels are helping you to move further in life. How are these interactions with angels are helping you to be a better person, to be more successful, to be healthier, to be happier? And at the end of the day, you look back at your interactions with angels and you make your own decisions. Do I want to be communicating with these angels or I may have to uplift myself? I may need to focus more on positivity and see light in the world so I have more perspective on the light so I can enlighten myself and I can connect to the angels of light as well. Now, and let me assure you, that there are more angels of light than darkness. It's all about where your attention is. So making conscious choices to be more positive, to be much more uplifting, uplifting to yourself, having faith, moving with confidence, seeing good in the world. Be that messenger, be that angel yourself and you beautiful beings that are helping this entire planet on much higher dimension to be well, to be healthy, to go through these changes smoothly and to experience joy in every moment of life. Here you go guys, I hope this helped you to learn a little bit more about angels and share with me in the comments below what your experiences with angels are have the most amazing day on our beautiful planet earth lots of love i'll chat with you in the next video